was a man of respect, had to sweat just to cash checks, working from sunrise to set. Every day he get challenged, no trades or talents. Barely scraped by, he found faith to balance a straight line and pace, feeling worn and gray. Poor with four seeds, one more on the way. It was hard days indeed, all work and no play. He made sure things on the surface were okay, but something disturbing within his mind was lurking a slight. Twilight breeze would ease in through the curtains at night. It's like the sermon of a twisted apparition was urging him to listen to the train in the distance. At first, it wasn't a tense, just one little instant. Sure, it didn't occur, but turned to resist it. As if it wasn't much more than just a figment of his imagination But for days it was persistent and it went church to ask him what was up with this disastrous curse but bad with the worst he came back three days after no money in his wallet and his shirt on backwards stumbling walked off when he called out for his daughter right before he split the last lesson he taught her was this if you ever have a son let him know that his granddad loved him but by the time that he's grown he should have seen his son deep down into his dome don't ever ever walk to the train tracks alone with that he backed up out for his jacket, told her not to act up and crack up laughing. After all that happened, he left never to be seen. Fifteen years later, it's when my mother had me. Her dad lived a life people can't understand. Went from a family man to rambling man, a gambling man that burned both ends of the candle. Folded his hand in, it was too hot to handle. Dripping off of my face, the world peaked as I slipped to the awfulest place you could imagine. Not the average things you see on acid. My granddad bloody hovering on a speaker cabinet. Laughing in a raspy tone, covered in maggots. A snack on his mat for the bone, I couldn't grasp it. Did it double dismount off of the couch, flipped out. Broke the closest window I found, then I dipped out. Suddenly, I discovered little voices mumbling up in my head. It had me wondering what was it my mother said back then. I was younger, it had my brain racked as I stumbled off in the night towards the train tracks. Silhouette that got bigger as I stepped, the train tracks were wet. I saw a shiny grin from afar, like it was happy. This is what he said as he started to walk past. It's me. a nice night for a walk. Would you mind if I joined you? Do what you want to do. Well, that's great, cause I'm going to. And not 
to annoy you, but see, I really have to ask What a young dude like you's doing out by the tracks? You waiting on a train? Nah, man, let me explain right. I'm minding my business, so maybe you should do the same I've just been a witness to something sick and sadistic So twistily disgusting, you should feel real lucky you missed it So easy with the talk, so try to listen carefully What you seem scary, but nothing when compared to me I could show you things to paint all your dreams on I could make you scream if I wanted or I can be the bee in your body, your best friend forever Two peas in a pot flocking like birds in a feather And you never have a need to beg, work, or steal If all this sounds worth it, then let's make a deal All you want in life for the price of your soul All the money you can fold, power that you can hold I'll put you in control Only if you're down to roll down these train tracks tonight But where are we gonna go? Sit down.